The Colts win the toss and elect to defer, so the Titans will get the football first. Play fake, throws in the flat, Foreman, touchdown, Titans, Deontay Foreman. They hand off Janu around left end, touchdown, Titans, Janu Smith to Peter. Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and the Mike Vrabel show presented by Coca-Cola with the Titans head coach. I'm Mike Keith and we're glad to have you with us back talking about football after a bit of a break. Let's bring in the head coach now. So the last game was on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. What have you and the team done since you last played at Nissan Stadium? Well, I think hopefully we've gotten some rest. We had a uh, great day Monday. Uh, met and watched the tape and watched some stuff that we've done well from the, the, the first part of the season and, and looked at some things that we haven't done well, things that we're going to need to correct and get, and get fixed as we move forward and into this most critical you know, part of the season where a bunch of teams are all bunched together uh, like they are every year, Mike. You have six games in 30 days before this break that you've had over the past four or five days. How do you balance wanting to get in that work and wanting to improve with knowing the guys need some time away and the coaches need a little time away? Yeah, I think we all do, but there's nothing more important than the health of the football team. You're going to win with players and, and making sure that those guys are getting what they need and, and also understanding how important their their just health is for, for Sunday. All right, as we come off this mini-buy, let's talk about some of the important topics going on with the Tennessee Titans. And let's start on something that Mike Vrabel has talked about a lot, building on positives that the club has had through the first nine games. How do you do that? You know, I feel like offensively there's ways that, you know, we can run the football with, with different guys. We've run it with Derek. We've run it with Deontay. We've run it with Jeremy. And, uh, you know, I think just being able to progress with that, for the most part, we've taken care of our quarterback. You know, I think we've, We've really kept him upright and he took a couple shots the other day, but we we've, we've, we've haven't had the sack numbers that that sometimes creep in there. You know, defensively, I think that we can line up and, and stop the run. You know, there, there are times where we have lapses, which is inconsistent. There, there's times where we look like, you know, we're coordinated and and everybody's doing their, their job and they're disrupting the ball. We've gotten some turnovers. We need to continue to do that. That's going to be critical for us. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we can always work on. We got to kick the ball better, and we got to, you know, we got to cover kicks better too. How does the defense take the next overall step towards the improvement you want to see? Um, I think it's about playing team defense. It's about making sure guys are all on the same page. You know, it's always going to start with effort and finish, but you know, just the, the fundamentals, the alignment, the assignment, communication. You know, your good players in this league got to play great for you to win every week. That's something that I'm familiar with in the National Football League. Mike, this team has consistently played well in 2020 in goal line defense. Why have your guys done that so well? That's the core of, of who we are. You know, I mean, you're going to defend every blade of grass. They have come up with some huge stuff, you know, up front, knocking guys back, making tackles. It's hard to stop them there on, on the one yard line. You know, we understand that. And so that's a testament to our guys. Mike, even with teams selling out to stop him, Derrick Henry is still having success here in 2020. How's he doing it? Well, it takes all 11. You know, Derrick's had some unbelievable individual efforts, which, you know, players have to do that. they got to win in this league. And, and like I said, your good players have to play great. He's gotten some help. You know, guys have blocked secondary support players. And, you know, the line has gotten him into some of these runs. And then other, other times he's just, you know, 
taken it and made a guy miss or stiff armed a guy and and gone from there. So, you know, we have high expectations for Derek just like he does for himself. We'll hear from Derek Henry later in this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca Cola. He is this week's Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. But as we go to break, we share something that we're excited about. Earlier today, we were able to reveal the finalists for the Tennessee Titans 2020 Mr. Football Awards. Here's the listings on the first three classifications in Division I as we go to break. Welcome back to the Bet MGM studio, the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Coca-Cola. Time now for the Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game. It came at the end of the first half, and it's a defender, Mike Vrabel, who is quietly having a nice year, Daquan Jones. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he gets one-on-one, -on -one and, and, and guys are expected to win one-on-one -on -one and gets into the pocket. And, you know, again, we've, we've talked about this situation. We've talked about it with Daquan. You know, we would just like to stay on him a little longer and uh, see if we couldn't steal a uh, three points from him there at the end of half, which we've done a really good job situationally. And I don't want to take anything away from Daquan, and, and he knows, having looked at that situation, that, you know, if the quarterback's going to take a sack there, we've got, we've got to stay on him a little longer and, and force them not to be able to get to the line of the scrimmage and, and, and clock it. All right, so when we come back, it's time for Mike Vrabel to guess the Titan in this picture. Delta Dentals guess the Titan is upcoming. Can he get it? Let's take a look, a first look. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's easy. Delta Dental, can you guess this Titan? As the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola continues from the Bet MGM Studios. All right. So you got a guess, Coach? I do. That is a cute kid, Mike. That is uh, Vanderbilt's own Kari Blasen game. Whoa. Let's see. Nicely done. Well played, sir. Finally saw it in the eyes. That's what Ashley's always telling me. Just look at the eyes, she tells me. Now look at the eyes for sure. Kari had a nice catch the other night, made a nice special teams tackle, continues to play a very solid role in his second year with the Titans. Yeah, and there's things that he has to improve on in, in his blocking. You know, that, that's that been a new role for him. But he has a versatility and a, and a, and a skill set that we value. You know, he can play on special teams, can help us in protection on third down, get us out of the game if he's got to carry it, but then also, you know, work his way there for Derek and, and leading him on to uh, some runs. Well done leading us into Derek because Derek Henry is this week's Rackley Roofing Tough Titan Derrick Henry is a lot more than just a football player. He is somebody who is very aware of his surroundings and the difference that he can make in this world for his family and for others. He's also a lot of fun when it comes to commercials. Derrick Henry, this week's Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. How do you get away from the game in season, knowing that while it's a game and you love it, it is your job and everybody has to get away from their job for a little bit? Definitely uh, spend time with my family. Uh, I'm a big, big family guy, so love spending time with my family. I take a vacation here and there, but you know, I'm a, a homebody guy. I like to chill, watch movies. My daughter's here now, so that, that, that doesn't get no better than that. Spending time with her, and get to see and watch her grow, and you know, laugh and have fun, and you know, just have those moments. Why do you enjoy being a dad so much? It's just a uh, indescribable feeling, you know. It's like like that's like being like Christmas, Christmas every day, you know, seeing her smile, seeing her laugh, watching her grow. It just, it's just, it's just so cool to look at something that, you know, I created and I mean, I can't even, can't even put it in words. Every day I wake up, every day I come home, I just can't, I look forward to get home to her and seeing her. Being a girl dad is the best, isn't it? The best. Derek, congratulations on the Old Spice commercial. That's why I use stripper protection Old Spice sweat defense. There it goes. It's not just strong. It's strong, strong. I think the thing that really sticks out to me is it's a great commercial. It's a lot of fun. 
Did you know what it was going to look like when they asked you to be a part of it? I didn't know what it was going to look like. I knew it had to be retro and uh, voiceover. Just because, you know, a lot of it can be, you know, present, you know, with a lot of things right now because of, because of COVID. But I knew it was going to be a video game thing. But the way it turned out, it looked great. It was a great job. And just happy to be a part of it. So what did you have to do specifically? How did your preparation work in, in going to making the commercial? Yeah, they just gave me the uh, script to read, and um, they gave me uh, pointers on how they wanted the sound. And uh, we just did it at a studio, uh, and they recorded it. And they just gave me tips here and there as I read the scripts. So I got it to, to where they liked it, and um, everything worked out well, and I'm glad that it turned out fine. And it's a great commercial. My favorite part, I think, is where you're dragging the two Los Angeles Rams through the airport. You drag them all over the place. You have the football field, and then through the airport, and then to the workout facility, and, and all of it. You're going to be much longer. <laughs> this is going to be a minute, minute. There. Good one. Have you gotten a lot of response from your friends and family yet to having a chance to see it? Oh, yeah, they definitely enjoyed it. They thought it was funny. Uh, all sent me texts. Uh, they were laughing about it. Like I said, I, I grew up uh, watching No Spice commercial, so for me to be able to have the opportunity, um, it's, it's a blessing, and um, I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. Now, you've done national spots before. We certainly know about the Nissan Heisman House, so I'm wondering, had you ever driven a mower before and had you ever trimmed hedges before when you did that in the Heisman House spot that we had a chance to see this fall? I think I drove it a couple of times with my uncles, trying to trim my grandma's yard and cut my grandma's uh my grandma's grass, but it's been a while since I, uh, I've been on one. That was a lot of fun and definitely funny, man. Uh, they're always, they're always creative, uh, creative and come up with good ideas uh, for those commercials each and every year with Nissan. When you were a young man in Uly, Florida, did you ever think you'd be doing a TV commercial seen nationally or part of a TV commercial that looks like a video game? I definitely wanted to be a great football player and, you know, for me, just watching football uh, throughout the years, me growing up and seeing all the, the greats, you know, they all were in commercials and, you know, had national attention going on. So I knew it came with the game, but the main focus is being a great football player. And then knew, uh, I knew all that other stuff will come eventually if you just, you know, play good football, you a good head on your shoulders, be a great role model for, you know, kids and, you know, everything else will take care of itself. All Titans fans, very proud of you and happy for your success. Derek Henry, thank you for the time and keep up the good work. All right, thank y'all. Thank y'all for having me. I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed visiting with number 22. We appreciate his time. Derek Henry, a very special Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. Coming up, we're going to find out about getting loud. We're going to hear all about the Titans' new anthem. But as we go to break, more Mr. Football finalists sponsored by the Tennessee Titans. These were released today. Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola from the Bet MGM studio. If you have heard the Titans' new anthem, Get Loud, and you've been turned on by it like so many people, then you've probably thought, who recorded that? Well, it's the Nashville duo Outskirts, and we want to tell you more about them and Get Loud. Standing by with the story is our Amy Wells. Amy, take it away. Mike Keith, I am joined by Brandon Ray and Christian Hale. They are the men of Outskirts. And we're so excited to have them here to talk about this song. And Brandon, I want to start with you because true or false, you had elements of this song in your phone well before it became a Tennessee Titans anthem. I did, actually. I was on tour, you know, playing shows about five or six years ago, and my wife was with us, and we were actually heading to Illinois. We were passing Nissan Stadium, and my wife was like, man, you should write a song called Get Loud, you know, for, you know, football fans and, like, something they can play in the stadium because, I mean, every time you look up at the Jumbotron, it says, you know, get loud, make some noise. That would just be so cool. And so I, I guess I filed that away for, uh, you know, five or six years. And then when the opportunity came to write this song, it just it just fits so well. Now, Christian, what is it about this song? What brought it totally together to make it the well-rounded anthem that we hear now? 
Yeah, you know, on a production level, we really just wanted to create something that uh, not only was great to listen to and you would want to listen to at home on Spotify or Apple Music, but we just wanted to create a vibe that would get 65,000 people in a stadium up on their feet and just pumped about the Titans. So, you know, in the track, there's uh, electric guitars and bass and things you'd hear in a rock band, but we also blended in elements of drumline and uh, marching band horns actually recorded some of those over an iPhone by my little brother a thousand miles away and texted to us. Well, guys, the video has turned out amazing. The song has turned out amazing. And we're going to play it for you right now. Guys, this is Get Loud, Tighten Up by Outskirts. Tighten up. Absolutely crazy. It makes me want to run through a wall just listening to it. Thank you so much for being here to chat with us a little bit. Hey, thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. Speaking of seeing you soon, we're going to take a quick break, but there's so much more Mike Vrabel show on the way. And as we head out, let's check in with some more Mr. Football finalists, including Division II and Kicker of the Year. Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola from the Bet MGM studio. Time now for the Titans Nissan Keys to Success against Baltimore. Coach, when you won up there 10 months ago, one of the biggest keys, turnover ratio, you won it big. I'm betting it's key number one this week. Absolutely. You know, we got to win the turnover battle. We got to find ways to, to disrupt the quarterback. You know, we know he's going to have the ball in his hands the majority of the game. You know, they've had some some quarterback center exchanges out of the shotgun. And, you know, when you're playing option football and you're reading it, you know, sometimes the, the ball gets on the ground. We got to get them. You know, we got to force them to, to into some mistakes in coverage and, and maybe find a way to intercept them and take care of the football against a, you know, very opportunistic defense who, who wants to create turnovers and, you know, get the ball out of uh, their opponent's hands too. So one of the turnover battles is going to be huge. Key number two has to do with special teams. Mike, take us through that. They're number one in the league in drive start. You know, they're starting at the 32-yard line. Their defense starts at the 25. 
you know, we have got to find a way to make up those seven yards that they've had on opponents this season. And, and a lot of that comes in the way that we cover kicks, the way we kick the ball, how we return it. Uh, that, that's going to be critical. And we're right back to the old favorite, winning third down. Yeah, you know, they, they're number one in the league on defense. You know, it'll be critical for us to, to extend drives and find ways to convert. And then we need to, you know, start stringing these performances together on third down for us defensively. You know, making sure that we're rushing, uh, taking care of the quarterback, and then being tight in coverage or, you know, being at the sticks in zone coverage. Good stuff, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Good luck in Baltimore. I appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. For Mike Vrabel, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us for the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Coca Cola from the Bet MGM Studio. We're on 1045 The Zone this Sunday at 11 a.m. Hope you'll join us.